all right guys welcome back to the another video in this video i'm going to show you how to develop the leaflet heat map so let's get it start in order to build the leaflet heat map i'm going to use this cool plugin which is called leaflet heat and then uh, by using this plugin we can simply build the uh, leaflet heat map and uh, for the coding of this section so i'll uh, i'll create one folder called heat map and then i uh, store the code and then uh, submit you this link so all of my leaflet tutorial are available in this repo and then if you like this uh, repo please hit the star button and let's get start so first of all um, i have set up the few key things here few basic things of leaflet so here i have the html5 document and then inside head i have title is heat map and then i have the leaflet cdn link which is 1.7.1 i'm using this version which is the quite stable version and then for the style i'm using a body with margin and padding of zero and map with height and width of 100 percent and 100 vertical height and here i have the idea of map and this is the leaflet js link and here i initialize the map with this coordinate latitude and longitude and also i have the zoom level is 11 and here i added the osm map and by default um, i'm loading it with the live server so if you load it so there is nothing it's just the leaflet with the base map is osm all right so in order to add the base map so you need to check the this repo so here uh, you'll get some hints so how to add the heat map so in order to add the heat map you need uh, the data with latitude and longitude coordinate and then the intensity but this intensity column is not the mandatory field we can uh, create the heat map based on the uh, position of each marker i mean the position of each points uh, latitude and longitude so in order to do so so we need to download the leaflet heat.js file and then uh, insert it into the uh, our download uh, i mean the script so it's inside a dist folder so simply click on the leaflet hit and then simply download this file right now i think uh, i already downloaded the file that's why it's showing uh, it's override so i simply uh, cut this file and then move it to the my working directory which is here and then inside heat map so yeah so the next step is to like add our script to the html file so i can write the script src and then uh, leaflet heat okay and save it so if you save it correctly uh, still we don't have any update on the map since we haven't uh, added anything uh, any data or any other code uh, to leaflet heat js okay so now it's time to load the heat map so in order to load the heat map you need the data set in latitude longitude and intensity format but uh, i think i got some data source which is really cool so i'm going to use that data set from directly from the url so let me show you where is the data so this is my uh, real world dot 10000 point dot js file so here you will see the variable name is address points and then you have the address point is uh, latitude longitude and there uh, i think it's the name of that uh, street or uh, name of uh, i don't know name of uh, some some related field okay so this is my data so in order to load this data simply i can copy this link and then i can add the data source over here maybe a script src and then i can provide the source as uh, the same link so 
if you save it and then if you console dot log and then uh, what's the name of that data let me see address point console log address point then uh, in the console you will see the uh, exact points so here you will see the 10,000 array and then inside it you will see the uh, latitude longitude and the name all right so here the name column does not make sense so i'm going to remove that len um, i mean the name column so in order to do that so you can do the like address point equal to and i'm going to change the address point so address point uh, sorry it's uh, the autocomplete for me so i'm going to use uh, iterate it over uh, each uh, like each of the latitude longitude and name field and then i only want to return it with the latitude and longitude field i i'm going to like remove the name field for now because uh, that's not the use of our heat map so if you now console log here so you will see the only the uh, latitude and longitude points so okay so this first is from the previous section so where we did not apply uh, the our map function and this is from the second section so here if you check so here now we have the latitude and longitude field only we don't have the name field so okay so now our data is ready to use so in order to create the heat map so you can create the variable as heat and then uh, if you edit this link uh, script src hit uh, leaflet hit.js then it will automatically create you the heat map so l dot heat layer and then address points and add to map so save it and then uh, now your heat map is ready to use so this is the heat map generated from uh, the code so if you zoom out so your heat map will look intense like this but if you zoom zoom in then uh, it will be like if if you have the only few points over here then you will see the light color but if you have the high dense point dense amount of point then you will see lots of uh, like this uh, color uh, in the red so yeah so in this way you can simply generate the heat map but of course there are lots of other options as well like uh, you can define the radius uh, or any other option with the radius uh, the options available from this library is available here so you can define the minimum opacity and maximum zoom level and then also the max uh, the maximum point intensity which is one by default uh, you can change the intensity and also the radius blur and then gradient so these are the like lots of other options so using this gradient option you can change the like color pattern uh, blue lime and red so you can change the color pattern or uh, whether you want the color plate map of like blues color or the reddish color so you can you can simply define it over here so yeah in this way you can simply generate the heat map and then uh, i hope uh, you like this video if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you for watching